The tone and value of a color can also change one's mood. Color has different meanings in different cultures. Color is a topic that needs to be researched intensively before consuming a variety of color, especially when you are designing something for a culture you are not familiar with. Good design can work in the absence of color, but color enhances your design. Let's see some meanings of colors in some cultures. What does white color symbolize in your culture? It means purity, innocence, goodness and light. It has a positive connotation. But do you know that white is associated with mourning and death in the Chinese culture? That's why in Chinese funerals, they do wear white. Some colors don't look good together at all. In our week 2 lesson 2, we will talk more about colors. Now let's look at the principles of design. Let's look at how to apply the element which we have discussed. The first principle is focal point. You can also call it emphasis. It is the important element on your design or art board. It is the element that draws your attention first. How can we make our design stand out? It's by applying the elements and principles effectively. Use color, size and value to add emphasis to your most important elements. Note, you can't have two focal points competing for attention on a design. If you have more than one focal point, it is no more a focal point. Which part of this poster is considered a focal point? You might have seen the five nights of glory first. That is to say, focal point is the element you want to see first in your design at a glance. And why it's so is because the texture of the five nights of glory is more than the rest of the element. And the use of color and size also help to pronounce it. In this design, there is one focal point, which is the five nights of glory. Contrast can be applied in any way. Use this to guide yourself. Texture versus smooth, small versus large, dark versus light, positive versus negative. This is simply what contrast is. For example, if you apply this very well, your design will be so interesting. Balance can be achieved in two ways. Symmetrical balance and asymmetrical balance. That is ensuring all sides of your design carries equal weight. For example, talking more about balance, I have selected a variety of jobs I've done so we can learn more about balance. Let's look at this design. Now we talked about symmetrical balance and asymmetrical balance. Looking at this design, it has three elements. It's two actually, but three in number. Because we have um, a shape here. 
and a, a text and a photograph. Now, you observe that if I dis divide this design into two, you will have two different designs and all of them will go with the same size. You have parts of this photograph and a text, part of this photograph and a text which makes this design a symmetrical balance it has symmetrical balance and it's very okay now this other design here also if i divide this into two this will be form part of the other design and this side will also form part which it will go with this and this making it to have the same size now you may ask why does this good appear for and here is only one why i say it balances because nice is bold and large well good here even if it's four it's not bold and it's not too large so if you weigh it on a scale it will balance because if you should take all these good 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 and merge them together to form bold it will still be as bold as nice so these two designs if you weight them on a scale it will balance and even looking at it with your eye you you see the balance in your eye but it's balanced in your eye that's why as a designer you should always use your eyes to balance your design and let's look at the second one this is not a good balance at all if your picture is at the center and your text just by the right and there is enough space here it's not a good balance if you weight this design on a scale this other side will fall off this other side will fall and this side will go up which is not a nice balance at all unless there is another thing you want to add here maybe a picture or a, a type a type or something the same to this this is not also balance it's not good at all and this is a good balance again that's why i said it's either you shift the picture to the right and the text remain at the left if you wait it is to design or if you divide this design into two picture will take one part and the text will take one part forming balance if you weight it on the scale the picture will balance this way and the text will balance this way and it also applies to this this is also a nice balance so we should learn how to balance our design anytime we are designing don't let one side heavier than one side so these are all symmetrical balance then this is an example of a symmetrical balance this design this art that i did now it is believed that a photograph is heavier than a text no matter what in your design a photograph has more weight than a text so this photograph here it's very heavy here if at all there were no right tops in this place this particular design if it added to a weight this side would have fall off but now we have a text here as a logo and a brand name and we have a text here there is a light picture here a transparent picture here and there is also a small picture here and a text here which all of them contribute together to be heavier and it's also heavy like this picture all of them if they should match them together it's also heavy like this one so they join together to form a good balance it's asymmetrical but it balances very well and look at this design here i did for one of my clients with photoshop i want us to learn something from here it is believed that this um cocktail is heavier than this text here i after designing this text here i placed them here with this but it was not still balanced because it was still showing that the cocktail is heavier than the text i had to apply a support 
to the text to help the text to stand the weight of this which helps your design to be balanced and looking at this design also if i divide this into two you see that it's well balanced because if you look at this the pictures are centralized and all the texts are centralized they are in the center they are all centralized and now if at all this this ornament was not here this other side would have been heavier than this so after adding this here i had to add another one here which represents time time so the design will be balanced imagine this design taking off this this out of this place it will make this side to be heavy than this this side the same thing applies to this design here the image is heavier than the text so i had to make a bolder text here and a lighter text so they can all stand together with this picture making the design balance and because of the much space in this place there is a logo here to help make the space here balance remember space is also part of our design space is an element of design so we have to create spaces allow spaces to be found in your design don't enlarge everything example if i had to enlarge this picture and the head of this woman becomes big to this place and everything just big and there's no space makes your design look somehow the same thing applies to this design looking at it it's well balanced because if you divide this into two everywhere the woman this icon and everything here the man and this makes this other side balance this makes this side balance so please when you are designing try and make your design balance can watch very well i've shown you designs that are not balanced taking everything to one side or taking it to one side makes your design not to be balanced just use your eyes to weight your design both your photograph and your text and every other thing you add to your design make sure everything is always balanced use your eyes to see if there is any side that can fall off if there is any side that is not well balanced and with time you will pick up and through tutoring you will pick up always allow a professional to to check your design when you are done so you have a correct design it's not a game, it's a rich thing.